And that brings us to 5.7, simple interest, which is by itself a formula. And we don't want you guys to get this mixed up with compound interest, which is more realistic. Okay, like if you have a balance on your credit card and you're getting charged interest, that is based on compound interest. Uh, this is not, that's not what this is. This is just simple interest, very basic. We want to keep it simple right now. And then once you get into... 980 you'll look at compound interest and they'll go into it in more detail then and even how it relates to simple interest also so this is the simple interest formula which only provides the amount of interest so if a question asks will it, which it will ask on the homework what is the total amount based on a principal rate and a time you got to figure out your interest first and then add it to the original amount okay uh, it'll last for both. Sometimes it'll last for only one or the other. We'll see. So again, the principal in orange there, that's the original amount or how much you invest to start with, starting amount, whatever. The rate, it's going to be given as a percent. It should be converted to a decimal. And then the time, T, is calculated in years. So if it gives us months, we need to change that month, months into, I usually change it into a fraction in into years, which we'll see an example of. But if you can remember this simple interest formula, not only is there, of course, going to be a question like this, like these on the test for this unit, but also it, there generally is one question that involves simple interest on the final as well. So to start us out, Theo invests $16,000 at 9% simple interest for four years. How much interest did Theo earn over four years? <clears throat> Excuse me. And then how much is in the account at the end of the four-year period? So the interest, right? That's our I equals PRT. All right, the interest equals the principal times the rate, that's an R, times the time. Okay, well, it told us how much he's investing in this, right? $16,000, that's the principal. And the rate at 9%, I just need to change that into a decimal by moving the decimal two times to the right, which makes that 0 0.09. And then the time, it says for four years. So we'll multiply that by four. Now, again, this is going to tell us the amount of interest. Um which is I, and I can type this directly in my calculator, you guys. So, oh, I forgot a zero on that 16,000, didn't I? There we go. So 16,000 times 0 0.09 times four, bam, I get my answer straight from the calculator at uh, $5,760. So that's 9% over four years, simple interest. Well, if that's how much Theo earned in interest, how much was the account, was in the account at the end of the four years? Well, of course he had the $16,000 to start out with, but then he, had, he added $5,760 in interest, which comes out to, uh, let's see, 0, 6, 7, 21760 bucks after four years. And you'll have to decide if that's good or bad. It's up to you. Uh, but again, it generally these types of accounts work more in terms of compound type interest. All right, Manny invests $13,000 at 3% simple interest for eight years. How much is in the account at the end of the eight-year period? All right, you guys try this one out. We'll give you one minute. Okay, one minute, go. All right, you guys, same formula. I equals PRT. And again, the principal is how much they invest at the beginning or put in starting value, whatever you want to call it. $13,000 in this case for many. So P is the 13,000. I got it in parentheses there. You don't really need this one in parentheses, maybe the rate. If you're just using straight multiplication, you don't need any parentheses either. Now, this is 3%, right? So 3% change to a decimal. So we need to move the decimal two times to the left, making this 
0 0.03 as a decimal. And the amount of time here is for eight years. So you can see I have that typed into my calculator already, which will tell me the amount of interest, which in this case, just typing it into the calculator, shows at uh, $3,120. Now, it's asking for the amount in the account at the end of the eight year period. So this is just the interest we need to add that to the $13,000. So we'll add this together. Looks like we get $16,120 in the account after eight years. All right, $7,000 is invested for four months at an annual simple interest rate of 6%. How much interest will you earn in four months? And then what is the future value of your investment? Try this one, you guys. This one's different, and we talked about using months. But see if you can figure this one out, how much the interest is and also the future value of the investment. So one minute, try this one out. One minute, go. I equals PRT, P is principal, R is rate, T is time. And again, this is only going to tell us the amount of the interest, which is what we want on this first part. Hopefully these first two values aren't too bad for you. We understand that $7,000, that's how much is putting in uh, at the beginning. And the rate here is 6%, right? So we have to move the decimal two times to the right, which would make that as a decimal 0 0.06. So we got 7,000 times 0 0.06. The time though, sometimes, this, this is where we run into problems, especially if you guys are working super fast because you feel very comfortable with this stuff. We need to understand that this is four months, not years, and T is calculated in years. Well, it's four months, so we can use four, but how much of that is a year of that? How much is the four months of the year? Well, it's four months out of 12 months. So I keep this as a fraction as 4 over 12, which I, I'm just going to type into the calculator, right? So I got 7,000 times 0 0.06 times 4 over 12, and I, when I push enter, this is going to give me the amount of the interest, which my calculator shows me as $140 in interest. Well, if we want the future value of the investment, again, you got the 7,000 but you also have this uh, 140 bucks so we're going to add those together to make $7,140 after 4 months at 6% simple interest so there's that one answer and then the amount of interest 140 bucks All right, Maggie borrows 700 bucks, agreeing to pay it back with 7% annual interest after 15 months. How much interest will she pay? And yeah, we'll round that, round the scenario cent if we need to. Well, just going back, we got our formula, I equals PRT, and T is the time in years. And the principal shows how much she's borrowing, which is 700 bucks at a interest rate of 7%. So again, we'd move the decimal two times to the left, making that 0 0.07. And again, the time, this one is in months again. So it's 15 months and a year is 12 months. So it's 15 out of 12. And this is gonna tell us the amount of interest. So just putting this into the calculator and this shows $61.25. So no need to round to the nearest cent. And this one specifically was asking for the amount of interest. So this is how much interest would have been earned in those, or I, I'm sorry, how much she would have needed to pay in addition to the amount that she borrowed. Find the simple interest on a loan of 31,500 bucks at 5.6% interest for nine months. 
So not only will we see the months in time, but we'll see percentages as, or with decimals in percentages as well. So we need to remember how to change those percents with decimals into a decimal. But the formula remains the same. I equals PRT. So P is our principal, R is the rate, T is the time, and yeah, we see how much the loan is of, that would be the principal, 31,500 bucks. The rate here, 5.6%, same idea, you're gonna move the decimal two times to the left, uh, but we're gonna keep all the numbers, right? So it's 0 0.056. Okay, and again, we can see that would be like 56 thousandths, or 5.6 hundredths. And the time again is in months, it's nine months, a year is 12 months, so it's nine out of 12. And this is going to tell me the amount of interest. So I go to my calculator to plug this in. And that will tell me. Let's see. Find the simple. Yeah. That's all we need on this one is the interest. And by the way, when you're putting this into the calculator, if you wanted to keep the percent, you could, right? Like right here, I've, I've changed it into a decimal. But if I go back, I can put 5.6% in with this calculator. 5.6 second. And then remember that parenthesis button. It's going to make that a decimal or percent anyways. So I don't actually need to make the conversion by hand if I don't want to. And then of course multiply that by the fraction, 9 over 12, and it tells me again the amount of interest um, on this loan after 9 months, which is $1,323. That is the amount of interest. So, I mean, if they didn't pay anything over these nine months, you would have just added these together to figure out the total amount if it were necessary. But we don't need to on this one. So we'll keep it in that.